Hey, it's Jason Judy, and this is Centric Tech Episode 5. So today I'm going to show you how you can put together a mount for a Novation Launchpad or other types of lightweight electronic devices. So when thinking about how to incorporate the Launchpad into my live setup, I wasn't satisfied with using it just flat on a tabletop or bringing out something bulky like a big metal sheet music stand to mount it up on like I've seen people do. So I wanted to come up with a way to do it that made it really efficiently integrate into the rig um, and put it sort of at an angle in a way that I could really easily access it and see it and just make it sort of really flow with my setup. So I did some searching online and actually came across a blog post from a saxophone player. Uh, if you're out there and you see this, please let me know. I'll be sure to credit you. Um, but I can't find the uh, posting anymore. And uh, he had this great idea of using a Yamaha personal monitor bracket to attach that to the back of a launch pad and basically put the launch pad onto a mic stand. Um, that's, that's what he did with his. He played saxophone and would have the launch pad in front of him on a mic stand on the stage. Uh, what I'm doing here is actually the same thing. It's just that I'm using a flange instead of a stand, but the threads on the flange are identical to the threads on a mic stand. So whether you've got something um, flat like I have here to mount it to, or whether you just want to have a launch pad on a stick, either way it works. So let's take a look at what you need to pull this off here. So the bracket itself is a Yamaha B as in boy M S 10 a mic stand adapter. And you can find them at Sweetwater or uh, B and H for um, $20. And that's what it looks like. There's your mic threads right there. And there's your clutch for how you can angle this thing. So you can make a pivot. And there's your two holes where you're going to attach this to the uh, pad. So what you want to do is go to your local hardware store, get a nice piece of half inch plywood, cut it down to the right size, and then take a small drill bit and drill through the holes for the two bolts that you want to come through here. After you do that, the next thing is you want to take a larger drill bit and just very carefully uh, indent the holes that you just drilled. And that will allow you to um, mount these bolts in flush below the surface. And that's really important because when you mount this on the back of the device, you don't want those actually hitting the device. So you want it to be you know, mounted flat on here. So uh, basically you want to recess your bolts as you put them in there. And these are actually not recessed currently, but I need to screw them in. So there you go. You got your bolts coming through. Uh, you take your bracket, pop your bracket down like that. Take a couple of um, uh, lock nuts, put your lock nuts on, tighten them up. And then obviously we've got some Velcro on the underside here. So make some strips of Velcro. It sticks to the wood great, it sticks to the units great. It works great on plastic. Velcro on the underside of your unit here to match it up, and then you simply lay it down there and stick the whole thing together. So, once you get it all together, spin it onto your mic stand or your flange or whatever you have uh, handy, and you'll have yourself a really cool and effective way to get your device in good arm's reach. And it's very, very sturdy, as you can see, very stable. You can sit and bang away on this thing all day long and it's not going to move at all. My keyboard rig is shaking, but the pad itself is actually mounted just fine. So, really cool technique, um, very cheap to make. I think I think the total parts for that come out to about $40 when you add up the bolts and the, the nuts and the wood and the Velcro and the mount. So, that's what I got for you today. And if you want to check out some other ideas and demos, you can see my videos on my channel. And as always, Visit centricmusic.com to see some of my original music. Peace.